Hey guys. Welcome to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create this. Without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects. Let's create a composition with full HD settings as usual, name it whatever you want. Now type your text and adjust its scale and position quickly. Align it to the middle. Now go to 30 frames and add a keyframe on position, then come back to first frame and drag the text outside of the composition, like this. Then select the last keyframe and apply elastic effect on it. Actually this is a free script from Motion Design School. That's really helps me to work faster. I am giving the link in the description, go and check this out. Alright, then easy ease the first keyframe, and change the graph something like this. Or I will show you guys how to create this same effect without using this plugin. This looks good to me. Let's type our second text. Adjust its scale and position just like this. Now open the layer, click on this animate button, then select tracking. Now click on this add button, and bring the opacity and position property. Now change the position of the text just like this. And set the opacity value 0. Also decrease the tracking amount just like this. Now open range selector 1, and add a keyframe on start, then go forward to a few frames, and change the value 100. Now click on this animate button, and add another tracking. Then add a keyframe on tracking, then go forward to few frames, and change the tracking value something like this. So it matches with the top text. Now select these keyframes, and hit F9 to easy ease them. Then open graph editor, and change the curves something like this. Also easy ease these keyframes, and change the graph something like this. Nice. Our main task is done. Here I will show you how to create the elastic effect without using a script or plugins. Let's create a null object and link these layers to the null object. Now go to the frames where you want to disappear the text, and add a keyframe on position, then go forward to 15 frames, and drag it to the opposite direction. Then go forward to 30 frames or more, and then drag the text to the outside of the composition. Easy ease the keyframes, and open graph editor. Now, select this point, right click on it, and select keyframe velocity. Then check this box and hit OK. Then change the graph something like this. Take your time to adjust it. Now it looks good to me. Let's create some speed lines, so it looks cool and speedy. It's super easy, just take the pen tool, and create a straight line like this.
Now open this shape layer, then go to the stroke and change the butt cap to round cap. Now click on this add button and add trim paths on this layer. First set the both value to 100 and add a keyframe on start, then go forward to few frames and change the start value to 0. Then do the same for end. Now just offset the end keyframe a little bit. Then just easy ease the keyframes. Now place these keyframes from where our text appears. Let's create some more speed lines using the same technique and place it over time so it looks cool. Try to offset the keyframes differently for each layers so it looks real. Now create two more speed lines for our bottom text using the same technique. Just like this. Alright we are done, now it's time for finalize it. Select these two layers and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Then right click and pre-compass these layers. Make sure you check move all attributes and name it whatever you want. Now create another composition, name it whatever you want. Then go to project window and duplicate this composition by pressing Ctrl plus D. Bring the duplicate one in our timeline. Now if we make changes on this composition, it won't affect our main composition. Now add fill effect in this layer, so we can change the color of it. Also add a solid layer here for background. We can also add fill effects, so we can change the color later. Now change the composition color to the background color. Then add drop shadow effect. We don't need distance here, and just increase the softness a little bit. Then change the shadow color to a dark shade of our background color. Now just add our text animation composition, which is our main composition. And we are done here. If you want to make it more stylish, then select all these layers and pre-compost it. Then add transform effect on this layer. And change the skew value to minus 6. Open scale property and make it little bit bigger, and it's ready for render. You can use these type of modern text animation for your titles and intro. 
Press spacebar to ramp review it. Play with the settings and make it more creative. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. And if you really want these kinds of cool tutorials then hit the subscribe button. See you guys in the next video. Signing out. Peace.